Hello everyone, welcome to Vixter's Guidance. Welcome all of you that are new and all of you returning today to this channel. Don't forget to subscribe down below if you haven't yet. And if you're interested in booking a personal tarot reading with me, you can book down below through the Etsy shop. So you guys, in today's reading, we're going to be tuning into what does the person on your mind think about you and how they truly feel about you. We are going to be using the Oracle of the Witch deck to start off for today. Then we're going to get into some more Halloween-y type of decks also. So we have group number one here with the crown showing up for you. We have group number two with the charms enchantment showing up for you. And we have group number three over here with the herb garden. Medicinal is the keyword here for group number three. So we're going to pop up some crystals here for each group as well. So we're going to have the unikite crystal here for group number one. We're going to do the emerald crystal here for group number three and we are going to be doing the Sharon Amethyst crystal over here for group number two, right? So these are the decks that you can pick from, the groups that you can pick from for today's reading. Hop into your reading and let's see what wants to show up. The timestamps are down below in the description box and in the pinned comment below this video. You can pause the video right now if you want to take a little bit more time and I'll see you all in your chosen groups. Hello everyone, welcome group number one. You have picked the crown as your card today and death here as the keyword and you have picked the unikite crystal for today. So let's see what your person or whoever is on your mind, what they really think about you and what are their current feelings towards you. So with the crown energy here, this person really does think of you as someone who is a very, very wise person, someone who is very informed, someone who is um, spiritually also very wise, someone who I'm hearing knows how to spend their energy. They also see you as someone who has very, very strong boundaries. So you are a human, a being that knows their worth. This person finds you a little bit intimidating at times because you are someone who has very, very clear boundaries. You know your worth, you have clear boundaries, and they might sometimes even see you as someone who is relentless, someone who is difficult, you know, um, but also like they really do respect you in a way, like their feelings towards you are those of respect. Um... They also, I'm hearing, they want your favor. They want you to favor them. They want you to like them. So this person really wants to gain some type of favor from you. They really want to be seen as someone who's important to you. They feel like they don't have like very strong self-worth and they feel like they need um, you to kind of validate them is what I'm getting here. Right, so let's see what else. What do they really think about you? What do they truly feel here? This person likes to impress you or they want to impress you. They, they just like it when you are like overall like pleased with them, you know. Um, like they're often looking at you for certain validation. Um, okay, let's see what else. We have pentagram here, talisman. Yeah, interesting. So with the energy of the pentagram here, it feels like they see you as someone who is often like protecting themselves a great deal as well, or someone who overall like likes to keep their life um, away from the, the private eye. This person sees you as someone who's quite like a private person, someone who likes to keep things to themselves. Um... 
with the pentagram energy the pentagram is like a sacred symbol so it just feels like you are someone who is like very worldly you know like people really know you um you are someone who is also like very resourceful like you can find yourself in um many different situations you know how to handle any kind of situation in your life like you can really quickly think on your feet and you're someone who is like very protective of the self you know you really know how to handle the difficult aspects of life is what i'm seeing here yeah like you're very loyal to the people in your life and to the path that you choose to walk this person sees you someone who's very loyal to like your calling to your career to whatever it is that you do and also you have like a certain pride in what you do as well with the pentagram energy the talisman energy you're someone who stands very strong in your convictions um as well and you're someone who just you know has a lot a lot of confidence a lot of self-worth that's something that I'm like powerfully seeing here for you guys. You're ready to really walk your talk. And you're someone who's overall like very respected, honored um, by other people. You know, you could be a diplomat as well. I'm seeing that for a lot of you here also. Like you are engaged or um, engaging in certain like diplomatic endeavors even. Um and you're someone who's like very protective of your own energy. Yeah. You're someone who knows how to work through difficulty with the crown energy. There's like this feeling here of you having a lot of wisdom about endings and new beginnings. You know, like you don't see an ending necessarily as something bad. You know, you see it as a new beginning, as something new coming into the light. This person thinks of you as someone who just sees life a little bit differently actually someone who's not going to be rattled by things that people are usually rattled by you're someone who welcomes transformation in their lives and um this person again like they may have seen you as a person in many different stages like they may have really seen your transformation take place recently um what else is here yeah like strong a strong energy strong character someone who cannot be bossed around you know you are the boss you don't you don't do the bossing but you are the boss uh we have spell casting manifestation here as well so this person sees you again as someone who's super super powerful um they think of you as someone who is a great manifestor or someone who has like great power to manifest whatever it is that they want so they think of you as someone who's like a very powerful person someone who can like really easily like bring about whatever it is that they want this person also like respects you immensely and they think you have a very sharp strong focus that you're also someone who tends to like really follow your dreams but also like you are someone who's going to make your dreams a reality you're going to be taking practical steps towards your dreams so that's what i'm seeing here let's see what else so let's look into now how does this person truly feel towards you so how do they truly feel so again, like they feel like you're so amazing. You're so wonderful. Um, this person, I feel like may have for some of you put you on a pedestal because we have the chariot here reversed. I feel like they they feel like they cannot take action towards you because they have put you on a pedestal in your life. So this person thinks you're you're super amazing, you're great at everything that you do. 
and they think like they just cannot compare to you at all whether the chariot reversed here this person may be currently feeling very moody about your situation or just overall quite displeased about the situation that they are in here with you um, they feel like they cannot move towards you. They feel like maybe for some of you, like you've blocked them off even, or they feel blocked from you, from like engaging in your energy. Um, they, they feel like they don't have a space in your life anymore. You know, for some of you, um, they, they just might feel like they're not welcome in your life. And it could just be this person's feeling. It could be their feeling of inferiority or feeling like they're just not good enough for you for some of you but overall this person just really feels like you're this amazing person they they just can't compare themselves to the ideal of you they just don't think they're good enough is what i'm feeling here let's see what else we have the queen of swords yeah they think of you as someone who's just very very impressive someone who's very analytical someone who's very intelligent someone who deserves the best of the best in their life they think of it as someone who is sometimes very sharp as well with the queen of swords here. What I'm getting here is also that your person is very, very afraid of rejection. So what they're feeling right now is like they would want to come towards you. They would want to engage with you in something more. But they're like powerfully here afraid of rejection. Yeah, we have the eight of swords reversed as well showing up. Let's take two more cards. Let's see what else. Okay, so two more coming up. Um, so we have the Hierophant. We do have also the Queen of Cups in the reversed position. So the Queen of Cups in the reversed position here with the Hierophant, this makes me kind of feel like your person may also be eyeing other people. They might be also interested in somebody else at this time, or they could be leaving a certain attached relationship for you at this time they could be um, ending our relationship with somebody right now in order to be with you going through a divorce or just a certain ending that has a certain like strong emotional component to it okay so how do they feel they feel like they want to break free they feel like they want to break free they want to get to know better they want to get closer to you with the Hierophant energy this person feels like they're very loyal to you at least energetically they're like very drawn to you like their energy is kind of spewing into you is how i'm feeling it but they feel like they cannot get close to you and it's driving them i'm hearing up a wall that's like a certain expression i guess um so this person feels like a lack of direction lack of control when it comes to manifesting our relationship with you or manifesting something more with you, they feel like they might not know what they want even like, or they, again, they get caught up in this energy and this pattern of thinking like you're too good for them. They might be experiencing like a lot of mood shifts as a result of that, especially with the Queen of Cups here as well. Um, they could be experiencing frustration as a result of that, like wanting you, but feeling like they cannot have you as this like internal tension. This person may also be feeling like an inability to overcome obstacles right now. So with the Queen of Swords, they again like see you as this amazing person. They see you as someone who's very assertive in a gentle way, someone who's very self-reliant and open-minded, unpretentious, straight, straightforward um because of those qualities like you being very unpretentious objective truthful and straightforward um this person is afraid to talk to you or like engage in this relationship more deeply because they are afraid that they are going to be met with a critical eye um and they are already like very very critical of themselves so they feel like you being critical of them would just be almost like too much that they can handle. So they're feeling quite, you know, quite stuck in this almost like self-created prison. 
um, they do want to break free of this, you know, they want to break free. This person, for some of you, by the way, they could also have felt like they were stuck in a certain, like, quote unquote, prison if they were stuck in a marriage that you know for a fact right now watching this was not something that made them happy. So that's just the energy in regards to that. If you resonate with that type of situation, this is just like confirming that for you. For those of you who know that your person is not unhappily married or is not in a relationship they want to break free of, they are like wanting to cut the ties that bind them to some of this recurring mental processing that's not serving them at all right now. This person wants to break through these illusions that they have towards the truth. They want to take their power back. They, I feel like they really want to be on the same level as you are. And I feel like objectively they are, yet they don't see themselves as such, which could also make them manifest certain situations where, you know, they are not as good as you, you know. So what else is here? This person is, I feel like with the Hierophant here, relying on systems that... Um, are older that are traditional at this time they're really relying on things like that just brought them a sense of a sense of stability before so they're relying on tried and true methods in like courtship for example here mm. they might be struggling with staying grounded but they're doing their best to stay so I feel like this person is also like very tempted by you for a lot of you, especially if you know, again, there is like this situation where they are with somebody else or were with somebody else. This person was and still is very, very tempted by you and they want to have something with you. So we also have the Queen of Cups here in the reverse position. The Queen of Cups is the card that talks about insecurities often in the reverse position codependent tendencies sometimes this person could feel like they don't have strong boundaries they could feel like they're very vulnerable as well around you um they feel like their intuition towards you is blocked like they cannot see very clearly where they stand with you or what the next steps with you are right now so that's overall what they're struggling with here so let's take some messages from your person now. Let's see what they would want to say to you right now, if they could. Um, in terms of signs, we have the Chariot, we have Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, we have Cancer, Scorpio, um, Pisces, and Taurus. We have the message, I do not want you to be the one that got away. It, again, I'm again hearing it would drive me up the wall. I only want you. So if there are other people present, you know, this person does want you. You are the only one on their mind. They only want you. Is there still a chance? Like they're wondering, is there still a chance with you? Have they like messed it up completely or is there still a chance with you? My heart beats so fast when you are around is here for you as well. So they feel very, very strongly for you. They do intensely want you, but like they they feel like they have this trouble getting over themselves. I wish things were different. So they wish your circumstances or the situation between the two of you was different. Let's see what else. Like they don't want to lose you. I just heard that in my mind. I don't want to lose you so crazy for you i'm so crazy about you um i'm crazy in love is what i'm hearing also so crazy in love song could resonate with some of you we also have a message i miss hanging out with you i'm also hearing i miss your little jokes so you know if you made any jokes in this person's presence they really miss that they miss your like spunky playful fun attitude as well like it's always fun to be around you and they miss that they miss hanging out with you let's see what else here i ask other people about you i'm hearing i would never admit it but i ask other people about you so this person 
is checking up on you through other people, asking how you're doing, asking what's up with you. They could also be checking up on your social media or on the things that you do, you know, kind of checking up on what you're getting up to, how are you doing, just to get some type of contact with you. I feel like this person is really like missing you. There's a sense of limerence here, like they're really longing for you as well. Um, we also have, I'm not good at expressing myself emotionally. So this person could also like really struggle when it comes to expressing themselves on this more like emotional level. They could like really struggle putting their emotions, their feelings into words as well, which just makes it all the more difficult for them to communicate with you. But they really, really wish things were different. Like they could be able to do that. They wish they could just get over themselves, you know, and do the things that they want to do. But they're finding it so difficult to do that. And just again, they might again like get moody, upset at themselves because they cannot do certain things that they want to do or say certain things to you that they want to say. So let's take three or four more cards. I am so afraid to be the fool. Yeah, they're so afraid to make a step towards you, to trust, to jump, you know, and then to shatter on the ground, to be rejected, you know. So they're afraid to be the fool. They're afraid to jump, to take the leap of faith in your relationship and then be shut down. Um, I feel like this person would really take that really, really hard. And um, they're afraid. They're afraid that you might not even need them. They see you as this very beautiful, successful, amazing person. They see you having fun with all these amazing people, you know, around you. And they like ask themselves, like, do you even need me? Like, do you even need me uh, in your life? Like, am I even someone who you want to have in your life? Like this person, I feel like gets really in their head about you and whether or not you might really want them to be in your life at all. They get very insecure um, about you here. I can't deny my feelings is here as well. So they can't deny how they're feeling yet at the same time. They're struggling to express it also, and they're, they're struggling to find the courage to take that leap of faith towards you. So here we have, I'm broke as F and insecure about it. So yeah, the broke energy here is the energy of scarcity. So feeling emotionally broke, feeling like they don't have enough, you know, that energy of scarcity is here. It's not necessarily just in terms of money or possessions, it's like the broke energy, like I don't have enough, I'm not good enough for group number one. That's the type of vibe that we have here in insecurity. Again, being insecure about what they can give you and whether or not that is good enough, whether or not that is enough at all. So that's it for today, you guys. Thank you for tuning in. This has been a very straight to the point reading in regards to what they think about you and what their true feelings about you are right now. Thank you so much for tuning in, for sharing your energy with me. Hope you guys are well and hope you're taking care of yourselves. If you want to book a personal reading, you can book through the Etsy shop. The link to that is down below. For 18 plus readings, check out my Patreon, which is also linked down below. I'll see you guys soon in the next video. And yeah, um, thank you for liking, for subscribing. Thank you for spending time with me and thank you for commenting down below. I'll see you soon in the next video. Blessings to you all and have a beautiful day. Bye. <sighs> Namaste. Hello, group number two. You have picked the Amethyst Crystal today. And you guys have also picked the Charms card with enchantment here as your keyword. All right. So first of all, let's look into what they think about you. And then let's look into your person's true feelings for you. So what they really think about you is that you put a lot of focus into your appearance. If you guys wear makeup, this person thinks that you look very, very good, that you know how to put things on your face, how to paint yourself, um, that you always look very, I'm hearing sculpted, very put together. Um, you, you just know how to 
make your good features pop. You know how to make your eyes look amazing. You know how to make your lips look seductive and delicious. Um, this person, I feel like they're just overall very, very drawn by, first of all, your looks. Your appearance is very sexy to them. They love your hair as well. And um, secondly, this person is like very drawn in to your charms, like your way of being, your attitude, the way that you move, you know, there's just something very sexy about that. So you overall are someone who is very sexy, you're very alluring, you're very tempting, you're very desirable. This person finds you to be incredible, very hot, you know, very, very handsome slash beautiful. And they just want to get more of you. They want to get more of that piece of pie that you are. Okay, so what else? You always look very stylish to this person as well. They think that your clothes or your makeup or everything that you do just costs a lot. <laughs> so that's maybe their assumption about your life. But they just think like you are someone who really puts in effort about how you look, how you appear to the external world. They like how much you take care of yourself or they like just the thought of, you know, you taking care of yourself. This person already, I feel like, assumes without questioning that you take a lot of time taking care of yourself. And they like that about you. They like that you put a lot of effort into looking good, looking nice, that you put a lot of effort into beauty, maintaining your beauty as well and maintaining a care routine, you know, a body routine, things like that. So this person already assumes all these things. They might not be true, but this person assumes that you are like putting lots of effort into just maintaining your beauty regime, let's say. All right, let's see what else. They think you're very enchanting as well. Like you're very fun. You're very vibrant. This person thinks of you as a very charismatic person. Also, they think like you can really... Um, I'm hearing boss a room um, that you can really like, you know, stand in a room and have everybody notice you. They just think like you really stand out. What else is there? Like they, they just are really, I feel like in awe of you. This person like really, really adores you. Um, they're a fool for you is what I'm hearing from spirit here also. So let's see what else. Um, for some of you, they think that you may be like a little bit unattainable or like just difficult to get close to because of your beauty. Like they feel like you're so beautiful and so amazing that they don't really have a chance with you or they just feel like you are someone to admire from afar, but not really get close to. I feel like this person could be almost like intimidated to get close to you or get to know you better because of just how beautiful you appear to them and how good you look to them. They're very curious about you, so their feelings are those of great curiosity as well. Um, but also, like, they think you're a very serious person. They think you're very put together. They also think about you, that you're interested in a long-term relationship, that you're not someone who's going to fool around. Um, this person also, I feel like, is aware that they need to level up their game and step up their game if they are to be with you. Because you are someone who deserves requires the best you know and they need to step up their game to be the best that they can be if they are to have a chance with you okay so let's see what else what do they think about you what else wants to show up here ew we have high priest energy authority interesting so they think of you as like an authority on certain subjects here even. They might think of you as someone who's very spiritual and they see you as an authority on these subjects. So subjects relating to spiritual stuff, topics, um, contemplative topics, meditation, mindfulness, what else is there? Um, philosophy, tarot even, crystal, spirit, awareness, a manifestation, oh, la, la, la. what else is there? Um, philosophy in general, this person could think of you as someone who is very into that stuff, um, ethics, what else? Um, mystical stuff, um, chakras, 
basically dream world you know they're just like feeling like you are someone who's very interested in these things and knows a lot about them even shamanic rituals just shamanism in general just this person views you as someone who is very interested in mysticism philosophy the arts um also um ethnography ethnographical subjects things like that that's what's showing up here religious subjects religious studies etc they think of you as someone who's just very very informed about these things you know and they see you as an authority on these subjects which is interesting um maybe they know that you do some tarot even some of you maybe you read cards maybe they know that you have a degree in something you know that and they see you as an authority on those things okay so let's see what else even astrology for some of you let's see what else we have aradia magic yeah this person sees you as a person who's very magical who does rituals collects herbs you know does spells even they might see you as someone who does moon magic with that being here on the bottom of the deck you know they could have seen you or they know that you work with the moon or um put out crystals to charge under the moonlight you know they, they just kind of consider you to be someone who tends to their own garden collects herbs for teas and for rituals and yeah like does stuff with the moon you know that's as far as this person goes they think you do stuff with the moon and what else so with aradia energy you are seen as someone who's very very magical by this person they could just see you as someone who's very divine very beautiful again like super magical as a person overall um they they just see you as someone who's very heart-based someone who lives from their heart that's what i'm seeing here and yeah with the high priest energy someone who's very knowledgeable someone who learns a lot someone who is also a good teacher so they see you as a good teacher they also see you as someone who has a warrior spirit and they see you with all these cards all these energies especially aradia here as well and also the high priest as a person who has the ability to sniff out dishonesty or sniff out anyone who has a lack of integrity like you naturally sense dishonesty in this person's opinion um this person also sees you as someone who does not like at all to be bossed around you know um yeah you do not like to be patronized by those who exercise power um and you are like in this person's opinion in their eyes you are a leader you are a leader you're a born leader you're an entrepreneur you're a leader you are someone who's supposed to live a very authentic confident determined life of their own making so yeah they definitely see you as an authority this person honors you immensely they see you as a very like sovereign person a very sovereign being someone who's very independent knows their worth knows what they're on about very beautiful very interesting very elegant as well you tend to look good in black if you wear black this person thinks you look very well in black um they might also like really really like your hair you guys might have like longer hair since we have like all three long haired individuals here oh what else um yeah they see just as a very powerful person or this person just feels like you have a great power over them like they cannot say no to you you know um so that's just their stuff but yeah like you have a powerful powerful like influence on this person like you can ask them for lots of things and they're, they're just not going to be able to say no to you because they like you so much they would do a lot of things with you slash for you just a little heads up there so let's see what else wants to show up here 
um i feel like this person would love to learn from you as well especially like things that they think you are an expert in they would love to learn more about you know these things that you do such as like magic moon magic moon rituals collecting herbs learning about different herbs they're kind of interested um in your lifestyle but they're also like i feel a bit spooked out or they feel like they might not be able to handle it or might not find their path around these things that you do like they're a little bit afraid of the let's say chaos or their perceived um unstable dynamic ground that you walk on so again, it's about assumptions with this person. It's not that it would actually be like that for them, but it's a lot about their own assumptions here. Okay, so let's now go into what are their true feelings for you. Let's see. We have the Queen of Pentacles. Cool. So they see you very highly. Again, they see you as someone who's very successful, very humble, also um, very like grounded sovereign again very stable secure as a person as well we have justice here so you are seen as someone who's going to call out injustice someone who's going to call out people who are being weird or dishonest or just if people are not speaking the truth as well you're going to be someone who calls them out or calls that person out we have the moon so this person sees you as a person who places a lot of their focus, a lot of their energy on trust and um, like loyalty as well. Okay, what else do we have? We have judgment. Oh, wow. So they see you as someone who is always moving, always transforming. There's always something going on with you or in your life. Let's see what we have over here. We have the King of Cups, beautiful. So yeah, they see someone who's just very, very stable, again, spiritually very wise. And we have the Nine of Pentacles here as well. Okie dokes, very cute energies overall here. Um, very stable energies, like you're very mystical to this person. Let's see what else. They would love to make a move towards you with the Knight of Cups here on the bottom of the deck. Like you, you literally, you make this person lose their head. Like whenever they are around you, can we focus on this? Ooh. Okay, maybe not. Um, whenever they are around you, they just tend to lose their head. Like the head goes out of the window immediately as this person sees you walking by, you know? I'm hearing like love songs now playing in my head. Like they're super in love with you. This person would do so much for you. They're so in love with you. They're mad for you guys. Okay, so use that knowledge wisely. All right, so how are they feeling? Let's go, just go into that. So they think of you as someone who is like the top of the top, the top of the stuff, the best in everything, mature, emotionally wise, balanced, successful, uh, emotionally balanced and materially balanced. Um, you're someone who's compassionate, has a loving, open, wonderful heart. And you're calm, you're wise, you're put together. You know how to dress well. You are a sight for sore eyes from this person's perspective. You are down to earth. You are nurturing, you're generous, you're organized, you're kind, you're financially abundant. Like the, You're everything that this person would want. And you're spiritually so wise and you have such a beautiful, passionate, loving, compassionate heart and such a harmony also that is visible in your mind and in your heart. Like you have a very beautiful flow there. And yeah, like this person, like they are infatuated. They are in love with you. They want you. They would love to be with you. So with the nine of pentacles here, they see a lot of success in your future. This person, um, his true feelings are oriented towards wanting to have more of an enriching relationship with you. They feel like um, they want to manifest abundance and success with you guys here. 
this person's feelings could be getting go or going through certain metamorphosis right now. So they could be experiencing changes right now as well with the judgment energy here. They could be going through some type of renewal or just like things are changing for them, how they feel towards you. They do feel like with the judgment here, this to me feels like their feelings are just getting stronger and stronger by the day. And this person just, they cannot deny it anymore. They cannot deny their feelings for you anymore because they're just getting stronger and they're just like mummies, you know, multiplying and are seen just everywhere in their life at this point. And yeah, this, this person just like, I cannot run away from this. I cannot. I adore group number two, you know. So with the moon energy, they also just feel so drawn to you. There's a certain like egolessness in how this person feels towards you. They feel a sense of purity with you. Um, they feel like you align them with their own inner wisdom as well. I'm hearing I love who I am with you or I love who I turn into when I'm with you. So this person is experiencing a lot of purity whenever they think about you. They also, I feel like, are just feeling like there's a sense of mystery in your relationship. There are a lot of dreams that this person could be having about you as well. Dreams that might be difficult for them to explain or get to the bottom of. They could be feeling some confusion here as well, lack of clarity. Or like there's a sense of secrecy in your relationship, but like also a sense of secrecy that they cannot quite fully grasp. But they're also like enjoying it. They're, they're enjoying peeling back the layers slowly. Also with the King of Cups here, this person is themselves feeling very calm, mature. They feel emotionally balanced. You know, they feel like they're emotionally regulated as well. They're just really like emotionally mature intelligent you know it's 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 good like they're emotionally at a very good place even if they feel insecure they know how to deal with those feelings when they come up you know so they're not going to run away from those types of feelings with the king of cups so with justice here this person is really set on doing the right thing with you they are set on maintaining their heart pure in this relationship this person is very focused on just outcomes and fairness in this relationship between the two of you right now. They feel like if they need to learn a life lesson with you, that they're open towards that. They're open to exploring the mystery here with the moon. And also this person's feeling patient right now. And they're open to just learning whatever it is that they need to learn or whatever spirit slash source wants them to learn in this relationship with you right now. Dog. So let's see what else we can gather here. We're going to get into some message cards for you guys now as well to see what your person wants to say to you. So what would they say to you if they could right now? What would they want to say to you? In terms of signs, we have Pisces energy, we have Libra, we have Cancer Scorpio here as well as here. And we have, um, I'm hearing Gemini, okay, so I guess Gemini. Um, and also Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energies. Yeah, like with this on the bottom, like this person wants to ask you out for dinner. They just, they just want to have a date with you. They just want to get to know you better with the Knight of Cups. And I'm hearing, I can't wait anymore. Like, ah. it's it's like someone screaming, going like, ah. You know, like I, I want to see them. <laughs> That's it's, it's very exciting energy. Okay. Oh, let's see. What are their messages? What would they say? I do not want you to be the one that got away. Yeah. They don't want to lose you. They don't want to lose a chance with you. Let's see what else. Oh, no, no. I'm still keeping my options open. So they're still keeping the options with you open, even if there are other people potentially available. They're, they're just keeping an open mind right now. They're keeping their options open. This person is not like fully set on anything. You know, they're, they're open to going with the flow as things come up. I wish we talked more. And this like very naughty face here as well. So yeah, they wish you guys talked more. They wish you guys connected more. 
see, you are always on my mind is here as well. So they're always low key thinking about you, even if they're not like thinking about you head on consciously, they're always kind of feeling you out or thinking about you behind the scenes in their subconscious mind, they're kind of feeling your energy or they're thinking about how good you looked and feeling into how good you look and how that feels to them in their bodies. Um, I want so much more for us is here as well. So they want more. They want to talk more. They want more. They want this connection to go somewhere. Okay. I can't deny my feelings. Yes. Like we actually talked about this somewhere. I feel like here with judgment, like with all these like little zombies coming up, you know, it's like they cannot deny this anymore. You know, this is the zombie apocalypse. This is the feeling apocalypse. This is just like this person being bombarded by their feelings for you. So they cannot deny it. They ask other people about you as well. They like to check up on you from time to time. Like ask other people, how are you doing? Are you doing well? What's going on with you? They kind of like to maintain um, like a low key, very like friendly, casual tone whenever they ask about you. This person is also feeling quite um, insecure about themselves with the broke energy. The broke energy is the energy of scarcity. So they're feeling like they're not good enough. So I'm broke F A F and insecure about it. So yeah, they're insecure because they feel like they might just not be good enough for you. Like they maybe not, um, maybe cannot or don't know how to dress as well as you do. Or, you know, this person just thinks like you're way out of their league. They're too, you're too awesome for them, you know? I'm not sure if we can fix this. So they're not sure if they can fix this relationship with you. For those of you who resonate with that. Um, and I strongly remember our last conversation. Aw. So they really powerfully remember um, what you guys talked about the last time that you saw one another. Or what, the last time that you had like a longer conversation. They powerfully remember that. And they still often like think back on that think on what they've said to you, think on what you've said to them. Um, it's all very, very vivid still in your person's memory. So whenever they think back on this last conversation or this conversation that you guys have had, they can like really powerfully picture it in their mind as well. Okay, so on the bottom we have, I do not want to see you with anyone else. So yeah, um, they are really like set on you. Yeah, like Feel like this person is someone who just really wants you to themselves you know they want to be with you and they want you to be their person and they're just not going to be happy if you end up with anybody else okay so that's it for today thank you so much for tuning in and sharing your energy today group number two hope you are well and hope you have a beautiful day thank you so much for liking for subscribing and for commenting down below and if any of you want to get a tarot reading or a messages reading from me you can book that through the etsy shop the link is down below if you want to connect to 18 plus pick a card tarot readings you can check that out through the patreon which is also linked below so thanks so much for tuning in um is there anything else if any of you want to get channeled point of view messages from your person you can get that through messaging me through my email address so yeah that's basically that thanks so much for your presence have a beautiful beautiful day let me know how the reading was if you want to share and that's basically it blessings to you guys and see you soon in the next video bye namaste hello group number three welcome you have picked the emerald crystal for today as your crystal and you have picked the herb garden medicinal is your keyword for today's reading not sure if you can see it but that's the keyword <clears throat> so let's see what your person on your mind really thinks about you and what are their feelings for you here for this reading so they think of you as someone who's like a very mysterious person. This person, I feel like they're very interested in you. They're interested in your vibe. They're interested in your kind of secretive nature. They think of you as someone who is a very private person or someone who just lives like a very, very private life. 
they think you are very feminine regardless of gender or sex here it just feels like you are perceived as a very feminine gentle soft and sensual person by the person that's on your mind here um like you have a certain like gentleness to you a gentleness in your way of movement and the way that you look at them they perceive a certain gentleness there but also like a sense of mystery a sense of intrigue is here also like this person i feel like they can't quite put a finger on you you're very very interesting to them but they can't quite grasp you you know they're like okay who are you what do you do you know they, they can't quite put a finger on you so i feel like you definitely intrigue this person a lot you definitely think make them think a lot about you just because they can't quite pin you down and yeah, you are very interesting. They want to know more about you. Um, but at the same time here, it feels like they don't want to like impose upon your life or make it seem like they they are like forcing you to reveal more about yourself. I feel like this person also does enjoy the sense of mystery, intrigue in your relationship. You know, they're like, oh, let me see how this develops, you know. So it's like a mystery novel for them almost. Um, so they're very like intrigued to see how your relationship is going to develop at this point. Um, another thing, what they think about you is they, they think about you as a very natural person, like you appear very natural to them. So very much someone who is like in tune with nature. Uh, you may wear your hair in a braid. Some of you like it's giving that very like nature type of person, someone who's in tune with nature, connected to nature type of energy. So let's see what else. So what do they really think about you here? They think about you as someone who is well off financially as well as someone who's abundant with the emerald crystal here. They just think of you as someone who is like doing well financially. So let's see what else, what can we gather here? So what do they really think about you? What do they think about you, please? let's see what do they think about you okay too many came through we're going to just take this one elemental magic nature yeah like you're very very in tune in touch with nature definitely we also have weather magic manipulation oh my gosh interesting so we have weather magic we have nature here as the keyword so both of these weather magic cards and elemental magic energies both of these have to do with your person just thinking like you are very connected to nature they th think of you as a person who spends a lot of time outside just goes on walks often or enjoys hiking and things like that they think of you as a person who spends a lot of time in nature which could be very very wrong you know it's just their perspective of you as a person who just loves to be outside um they also think of you as someone who's like a little bit witchy of course be this being the oracle of the witch this person thinks of you who as like as a person a little bit witchy they think of you as someone who does like moon rituals um or like does things with crystals puts the crystals before um the moon in front of the moon it's light you know it's it's giving that type of stuff here for them but yeah again like very natural very feminine energy with both of these showing up as well um yeah very connected to nature and let's see what else you're, you're someone who is always like prepared. You're very practical, but you also know how to go with the flow. Again, that's, that's something that kind of adds to your mysterious vibe for this person. Like you're someone who is practical and knows how to do things in a practical manner, is very like solid, straightforward, reliable, but you're also someone who's very much able to go with the flow. You're very like adaptable and flexible in their mind. And I feel like in some way, this person may view you as like a little bundle of opposites, like you possess many different opposing traits, you know, so for example, very solid, very reliable, and then very flexible, very like gunko, go with the flow type of vibe. So you kind of have both of these, but what is definitely very present is this kind of 
sensuality, this very empress type of energy in traditional tarot, where you're very, very attuned to your environment, attuned to nature. Um, yeah, you, you just feel like you know things, like you have a certain affinity um, for plants, for herbs, like you can really get along with these things. Um, yeah. And you know how to handle them. So this person may just, again, like think of you as someone who has a garden at home, someone who likes flowers, someone who likes to tend to the flowers and so on. But someone who also like knows how to get their way with weather magic here, you know how to get your way. You know which like quote unquote strings to pull to receive what you want. So this person might, again, like they see you as someone who's like very um, confident or empowered, like you have a lot of power in their opinion. They might see you as someone who has a lot of power over them as well. Okay, so let's see what else. So how are they truly feeling towards you? So we definitely have that mystery element here. Let's see what else. So let's see, for group number three, how does their person truly feel? How do they really feel? Okay, so we have the Four of Cups here. Let's see what else comes through. We have the Five of Wands here as well. Kidoke. So they might be feeling certain dissatisfaction in your relationship right now. Maybe something happened or maybe something's not going the way that they wanted it to go. There's a certain dissatisfaction here. This person might be feeling like they are being pulled in many different directions with the five of wands. We also have the seven of swords here. So they're kind of like withholding some information here from you. They're not telling you the whole truth, either about their thoughts of you or about their emotions. Um, we have the Knight of Cups as well. So there is definitely like an interest, a love, a romantic interest from this person's position. They could be withholding that information or don't want to reveal to you that they actually feel strongly for you. We also have the Knight of Pentacles here. So they're all about like taking things slow. I'm just going to sneeze. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So that's just confirmation for you guys that this person feels like they need to take things slow with you, slow in this relationship with you. Okay. What else do we have? We have the five of pentacles. Yeah. So with the five of pentacles here, they could be feeling like they're not, I'm hearing up to the task. They're not up to having a relationship with you yet. The Nine of Wands is here also on the bottom of the deck. So they could be feeling like they are, yeah, just like they have their guard up is what I'm getting here. They have um, their walls up. This person may be a little bit suspicious of this relationship or of you, of where this connection is going or where this connection could develop. They are intrigued and curious, so they're not like pushing you away energetically. It just feels like they are a little bit unsure about where this all can go. So they are preferring to just take things very, very slow, you know, to have developments take place here slowly. And I'm hearing accurately in a way that you both can prepare for what is to come next or what is on the horizon for the two of you. This person could also be perceiving that they have some competition here with the Five of Wands. So they could see many different people being interested in you and they could be feeling like they have competition there. And I feel like they're just not sure how to handle that either. With the Five of Pentacles here, this person is like concerned that they don't have enough to offer you right now. They don't have enough to give you. Um, or they feel like they need to give you more, right? They might feel like what they get to give you right now is like not good enough or is not enough for what they perceive uh, to be your worth. Okay, so 
regardless if this person like being challenged, if they're perceiving challenges or if they're actually being challenged here with the five of wands, they are perceiving this to be a healthy challenge. So they are actually being motivated if they are seeing you involved in the, with different people or if they are seeing you um, talking even to other people, this person is actually seeing that as like a healthy call to action, you know, they're actually being motivated and stimulated by um, challenges, by competition, let's say, you know, and it is actually what gives this person energy. It is what calls them out of their um, little turtle shell, you know. So that's what I'm seeing here for this person. With the Four of Cups, they could be withholding something. There's just this sense here of like them feeling a little bit bored and them feeling like a little bit dissatisfied with the situation that you guys have going on at this time. This person could just be focusing more on the negative aspects of this relationship. So they could be more focused on just the fact that they don't have enough or like the feeling that they need to give more or that they might not be good enough compared to this ex person that you're talking to, you know. So they could be just focused on um, a certain lack mentality right now. So they just feel dissatisfied in a sense. They are um, feeling maybe like a little bit lazy even or don't know what to do, don't know how to get themselves out of the funk that they're in right now. They could also be feeling like a little bit shy or lethargic here with the Four of Cups energy. With the Seven of Swords, this person's not telling you everything. So they're keeping things to themselves. So whatever they're thinking, feeling about you here, they're keeping these things to themselves. They feel like they're not ready to reveal these things to you. <clears throat> what I'm hearing is I don't know how. So they don't know how to potentially communicate certain things to you. So they could be um, a little bit dishonest even, or they could just not be telling you the whole truth about their feelings, maybe even the whole truth about their situation right now. You know, if they're facing some difficulty or some scarcity in their life right now, this could just be perceived scarcity. You know, like they might be feeling like they're not emotionally good enough for you or that they cannot meet you in the way that you deserve to be met based on their opinion or their assumptions of you, you know. So this person just keeping these things to themselves. They, I feel like they might have a crush on you here with the Knight of Cups and they're just keeping that to themselves as well. Um, you make me lose my head is what just heard here with the Knight of Cups, of course, with the Headless Horseman. Um, so yeah, this person might be like, not revealing the fact that they are very idealistic, that they are like really, you know, building castles in the sky between the two of you and for your relationship. Um, they could be withholding here their romantic side, their sensitive side, the charmer side, the side of them that's very empathetic, that's a youthful idealist and um, someone who is in touch with their emotions. This person could be just like really withholding the fact that they feel for you and they could be withholding, um, wearing their heart on their sleeve, you know, courting you, things like that. They're maybe not ready for that. They just don't see themselves as good enough or they just see like they don't have enough to offer here and that dissatisfaction is just really keeping them not really stuck fully, but just keeping them in a certain position where they are not seeing a lot of action around them. So with the Seven of Swords, there's like this feeling here of um, things not really developing or there are not a lot of development seen in your relationship right now. It's giving that type of vibe here, like you're both kind of walking around the topic that needs to be addressed. And it's like this constant round and round the thing around, around the cauldron, you know, it's that type of energy. You, you don't approach the issues like both of you kind of feel like this type of vibe. Um, 
Now you're maybe afraid to talk directly about this issue or you're both kind of hoping that the other person would. Yeah, but even if the other person would, I feel like you would both be kind of afraid to talk about it then. So it just is a message that you're not ready, both of you, you know, both of you could be just in the space where you need to maybe sit a little bit more with your emotions, sit a little bit more with your shyness and um, see how the relationship develops. So that's kind of your person's modus operandi right now. They're just like seeing where this all goes. Um, so their feelings are patient right now. They are focused on the practical aspects of your relationship. They are focused on staying consistent and staying in your life, like seeing you often. They're focused on that. And they are focused on just persevering and seeing where this all goes, you know, also with the nine of wands, there's this perseverance, but also I have my guard up type of energy here. There's this energy with the, I stand my ground, but at the same time, I'm keeping my walls up a little bit, you know, that's the kind of vibe the nine of wands is giving. So the knight of pentacles is the type of energy where your person is just focused on being grounded patient, practical, they are not like fully interested in the flashy or the frivolous. Um, and they're more just concentrated on what they need to do to get through the day, you know, especially if any of you are kind of connected through this person's work, or your work, you know, they're more focused on getting the task done, than they are potentially getting more romantic with you. Although I feel like the Knight of Cups here also does like peek through often. Like there could be some flirty moments between the two of you. Your person could kind of, you know, give you a little flirty comment here and there. So there's definitely like a playfulness here between the two of you. Um, but mostly this person is still like very focused on just completing the quote unquote tasks in front of them in a successful way, whatever that may be. Um, they are putting a lot of importance on adapting to what is happening around them and like being able to approach their environment with an open heart here. That's what they are mostly focused on at this time. So noun, 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 with the nine of wands, this is just a sense of this person being prepared. So they're just prepared, they're watchful, they're standing their guard a little bit, they're standing their ground, they are seeing where things move. Um, yeah, and they're being a little bit defensive, you know, a little bit like just watching, you know, they're like, a little bit careful, but they're still interested, you know, they're still there, you know, they're still wanting to see where things go, where things develop. Yeah. And they're also like with the nine of wands kind of waiting for this knight of cups to become more strong in their field, in their like energetic field. They're waiting for this more of a charming, romantic person to be able to come up um, so that they can be more authentic in how they show up for you. So let's see what we have here. I'm scared to open up to you. Yeah. So let's see what else are their messages. Let's see for group number three. I'm scared to fully allow my emotions for you to flow out. Yeah. So they're just really, really scared to reveal the fact that they feel for you, the fact that they're interested in you. <clears throat> yeah. I don't feel like this person is necessarily scared of rejection, though. I feel like they can handle that and they know they can. I feel like there's something else here that's at play. I ask other people about you, so they do ask about you. They inquire about you when you're not around or this person just like wants to ask or talks about you with other people, just to get more information on you. Just feel like here with the seven of swords, like your relationship could be that where you are not like maybe fully open with each other or can't be fully open with each other or can't have very intimate talks with one another, even though this person would love to do that more with you. I need some more space to myself. So this person does feel like they just need a little bit more space to themselves. I want to marry you is here as well. Yeah, so they are just like quite all over the place. 
um, is there still a chance? You know, is there still a chance to be with you? Is there still a chance to marry you? Is there still a chance to be something more? What else do we have here? You only deserve princess, prince, princess treatment. You deserve the best of the best. <clears throat> Let's see. I have a huge crush on you as here. Yeah. And I still want us together. So they do want the two of you together. Yeah. This person does feel like they, they want a bit more space to themselves just because they feel like they need to work on being more emotionally open and trusting themselves more. Okay, let's see what else. I'm still keeping my options open. So they're keeping their options with you open. You make me nervous is here on the bottom of the deck. So you do make them feel a little bit rattled, a little bit nervous, a little bit like they don't know what to say. Um, I just heard like you make them feel sometimes like they have like this lump in their throat as well. I'm hearing you make me feel like a teenager again. So there's definitely that type of quality here. Um, yeah. I'm hearing also you make me feel awkward. So there's definitely that vibe here still going on between the two of you. So a person is kind of waiting for this to pass. You know, they don't want to approach you with a lump in their throat. Um, yeah, they, they're just feeling like that would be very weird and very awkward. They just couldn't live with themselves where they did that. So they just want to be more, um, more grounded, more self-possessed when they do actually take action towards you. So what I also just want to say is that we do have the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. The Knights are action-taking cards. So I do feel this person taking action towards you. They might need some like little bit space here just because they're scared to be more open. But I do see them taking more action towards you here with these two cards. So things I feel like are looking up for you if your person has not been taking action or has been quite, um, you know, like passive lately. I do feel like things are looking up for you here because of these two cards. Alrighty, so thank you so much for tuning in, you guys. Thank you for sharing your energy. This is where we're going to finish off with the reading today. Um, hope the reading resonates. Let me know in the comment section how it was for you guys. I'm going to see you guys soon in the next video, sometime in the next days or so. Um, yeah, if you want to book a personal reading, you can book through the Etsy shop. The link to that is down below. If you want to connect to 18 plus, pick a card tarot readings, you can check out the Patreon, which is linked down below as well. So is there anything else you want to say? Um, no, 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 not really right now. So yeah, thank you so much for liking, for sharing space with me here, for subscribing and for liking this video, for supporting this channel. I'll see you soon in the next one. Have a beautiful day and blessings to all of you. Bye. Namaste.